Hey everyone, welcome to Propedia. This channel is created to share in-depth research for projects all across Singapore. I'm Joy and today I'll be analysing Commonwealth Tower's 4-bedroom unit type. But before we begin, here's a quick overview. This is a 99-year leasehold condominium situated in Queenstown, right opposite Queenstown MRT. It features a pair of 43-storey towers which consists of 845 residential units ranging from 1 to 4 bedroom. Commonwealth Tower's 4 bedroom comes in only one layout at 1,302 square feet. Out of the 845 units in Commonwealth Towers, there are only 38 units of 4 bedroom, which makes up a mere 4% of the total unit mix. To date, 4 4 bedroom transactions have been recorded and all of it are profitable. Similar trends were also spotted in other projects surrounding Commonwealth Towers. Queen's Peak recorded three profitable four-bedroom transactions and no unprofitable transactions, whereas Queen's recorded 78 profitable four-bedroom transactions. Anchorage Clock 5 profitable 4 bedroom transactions and 1 unprofitable transaction. Market View and Sterling Residences haven't lodged any caveat for its 4 bedroom because both are newly TOP projects. But I do reckon that transactions will be profitable as well. Why would I say so? Due to the lack of 4 bedroom supply in this area and the fact that not many people are selling. If we were to look at the total number of 4 bedroom supply in this area, there are approximately 288 units, 32 from Queen's Peak, approximately 70 from Queen's, 82 units from Sterling Residences and 39 from Market View, 27 from Anchorage. Out of this, less than 20 units are on sale right now. This translates to limited options for buyers who are looking for a 4-bedroom in this area. When demand goes up, price increases. With reference to Queen's, as this is supposedly the oldest condo in this area with the most number of 4-bedroom transactions, we can see that 4-bedroom owners in this area do enjoy 2-tier or even 3-tier profits. If you currently own a 4-bedroom in Commonwealth Towers and have held on to this property since 2014, you would have probably purchased it back then for 1,600 PSF. Do you know if you have managed to sell it in 2019, there is a chance you could have sold it for 2,000 PSF? From 1,006 PSF to 2,000 PSF, that's a profit margin of 400 per square foot. Can you imagine back in 2019, you were already sitting on a paper gain of half a million? But because you did not make any move, nor do you know what's the right move to make, at one point, this 2,000 PSF price tag dropped to 1,700. A drop of 300 per square foot, which is equivalent to a potential loss of close to 400,000. But today, thanks to COVID and the shortage of new supply in the market, prices have rebounded to 2,000 PSF. My advice to all 4 bedroom owners in Commonwealth Tower is to leverage on this bullish market to cash out and swap for a property that is able to hold its value when markets transit from a bullish to bearish. The last time the market turned from bullish to become bearish was between 2012 and 2013. Let's have a look at the performances of a resale and a new launch development that are located side by side back then. This is La Festa, newly launched in January 2013 at the last market peak. And this is Compass High, which is located just opposite La Festa and above Sengkang MRT. It was already a 13-year-old resale property in 2013. If you have seen here, prices of Compass Heights surged in the bullish market due to its pricing and the need for immediate stay. But when markets started to slow down, Compass Height met with a sharper downturn because many sellers, such as yourself, the first owner, bought it at a lower price and can afford to sell for a lower profit margin. La Festa managed to hold its price because majority of the owners entered at a similar price tag and no one was willing to let go lower than their break-even price. And this concludes my short sharing on Commonwealth Tower's 4 bedroom. If you find this sharing useful, please turn on the notification button for my profile on your YouTube and I will see you in the next episode.